Hey, what's up, YouTube? Ed Clearlight here with uh, my actual uh, review of Expand from Air Music Technology. Um, it's kind of a 90s style rompler, if you will, kind of a workstation plugin. Um, my first, uh, my first couple reviews were pretty much focused on the single layer. The ones right over here, the single layer presets. And to be quite honest, I'd had, I had just gotten it. And I didn't even know about this whole section over here, which are more like what you might call the presets as opposed to the single layer presets that are over here that can be layered four parts. Um, it's a lot like having, say, an XV5080, something like that, or a Triton. Um, all in all, it's uh, pretty good. And it's on sale this month, I think the entire month until August 31st, I want to say. But uh, make sure to get it. It's a dollar. So... I think for presets alone, you can't go wrong for a dollar, aside from free ones. And it's from a pretty reputable company, so I would definitely uh, look into getting it. But uh, this time, we've gone through all pretty much about, I'd say, 20 or so from each section over here. And we went over the effects a little bit in the other videos. But this time, we're going to go over here. And I'm going to pretty much stop on ones that have multiple parts only, because you already heard the single layer demonstrations. So let's take a look what we got here. That's a little layer of a pad and a poly synth. Um, you can split, you can pretty much anything you could have done on a Triton or a motif or whatever you know whatever your keyboards of the, the back in the day used to be and a lot of people kind of miss those keyboards and how they work their the workflow is i don't know it just had a certain thing to it if you've been into the scene for a while CPU efficient too. It loads up really quickly, and so do the presets. The presets load really fast, which is pretty good if you're like a, into a speedy workflow. <laughs> over the singles, we already went over those. You can change the levels right here. You can pan things, you could add uh, a pretty decent complement of effects on there. And let's see what else we got here.
section here and then the higher section we can play with so you can set them up how you like pretty much but especially if you don't have a lot of plugins or whatever it's i mean it's i don't know it's got a lot of it's got to have 2500 or so presets on it <laughs> Definitely very usable stuff. Let's see what else we got here. Looking for a lot of layers here. Thank you. 
reminds me of my Triton quite a bit. sounds are they're really good but i'm not being loud you know if you have a different workstation you know you might be all right without this uh, i definitely like to have as many sounds as possible kind of sound junkie. i think we all have that a little bit sound there. Each layer has its own arpeggiator, which is a nice touch. Pretty cool. section. Let's take a look. See if we got anything layered here. Thank you. 
These are probably some of the most layered sounds here in this section here. see it reacts really fast which is pretty nice a lot better than waiting a minute for samples to load up or whatever Thank <laughs> you. 